Wizard of Oz, a great series of books, but most remember it as the classic 1939 film adaptation. Everyone's seen this as a kid, and it's one of the most cherished movies of all time. Now, did it ever need to have a game? Well, with all the shitty movie adaptations on Nintendo, it should come as no surprise. But this is Super Nintendo, so it can't be that bad, right? The title screen looks promising enough, but if you watch the demo, you see Dorothy fall down a hole and die in a matter of seconds. They didn't even try. It's the worst demo I've ever seen and the perfect foreshadowing for one of the worst games ever. So you start the game and the intro begins. To say the least, it's horrifying. Look at how ugly this is. Dorothy looks like she's dead and the graphics on Toto really stand out for some reason. Then the tornado comes and Dorothy gets sucked away like a cardboard cutout. So she's in Oz right away, and Glinda gives Dorothy the ruby slippers. I always thought that was sketchy. Why does Glinda have such disregard for Dorothy's safety? Having the ruby slippers makes her the target of the Wicked Witch. It's not like Dorothy asked for the damn slippers. Also, why doesn't she just tell her she can click her heels and go home right away? Fucking bitch. Oh my god, the witch has a bubble too? I don't remember that from the movie. The basic gist of the game, you gotta get through four countries, each consisting of seven or eight stages. You have to collect bricks and tickets along the way. The bricks are used for building a bridge from one country to the next, and the tickets are for entering the Emerald City at the end. There's also mini-games like Match the Picture and this word scrambler thing with Toto. Trust me, it sucks. But now on with the game. Let's start off with the enemy rundown. We got bloodthirsty blue birds, frogs, chattering teeth, pink soldiers, some weird looking dude, flying elephants which are supposed to be monkeys, a blobby blue guy in killer chairs. Is this Wizard of Oz or Pee Wee's Playhouse? Then there's all these buzzsaws. Kind of violent, don't you think? Everything imaginable wants you dead. Even water faucets coming out of trees. Even the hands of a clock can kill you. Oh god, here it is! Watch out for the clock! Hold oh! up! Then there's lemons dropping down. You know, like in the lyrics of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, the lemon drops? That's fucking desperate. My favorite's the cat cactus. That's creative, right? You get it? A cat cactus? There's even enemies that you can barely see, like this tiny mouse on the fence in the background. Like, are you kidding me? That doesn't even make sense from a perspective viewpoint. She's like standing in front of the fence. As far as trying to defend yourself from all this shit, you're screwed. Dorothy has two attacks, shooting magical items that she collects, or kicking. The only thing effective is shooting at things, but your ammo runs out extremely quick and it's very rare to find more. In fact, only a few stages in the whole game have this ammo which comes in the form of gems or stars. Can you imagine how annoying this is? Take, for example, Super Mario World, okay? Imagine if there were no mushrooms, fire flowers, or anything throughout most of the game. You had to go back to the first stage every time you need something. Is that fair? But, let's face it, you're gonna keep running out of ammo in the middle of a stage, so your main attack is the kick. It's all you have. Remember the scene from the movie where Dorothy kicks the shit out of a giant crow wearing a vest? Well, anyway, this kick is practically useless. Most enemies come from above. I mean, look, you can't kick while jumping either, which is really a problem. So in the air, you can't defend yourself. Unfortunately, you need to be in the air to jump your way through the game. She's carrying that fucking wand around. You wish she could just whack things with it, but no, it's just for decoration. What a joke. Most of the time, you're just constantly taking hits, hoping to have spare energy. Fuck. Shit. Along the way, you meet the other classic Oz characters. Thankfully, you can play as all of them, switch between them, and each of them have their own individual life bars, which makes it helpful. So when you lose energy, it doesn't affect the other characters. But their attack range doesn't improve much. The Scarecrow can use the Pitchfork, which is okay, but you still can't attack while ducking or jumping. 
Now, Tin Man, what a miserable fuck. He raises the shittiness to a whole new level. He can't duck or jump at all. That fucking helps, right? Why not make a character in a platforming jumping game that can't jump? He's useless. A complete waste. And just to tease you, he's the only one who has two attacks. He can kick and use the axe. But what good is that if he's incapable of jumping? Now, the lion's the best, and here's why. Oh, the lion, I'm the lion, I'm the lion from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> One time a rooster took a shit up inside of the barn. Let's have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Put him up, put him up. Oh, I like to wipe my ass with his tail. It's not my dick, it's my tail. Shut up, shut up, shut up. We're trying to read this game. We're up to your part right now. My part. Now here's how the line works in the game. Now as far as the attacks go, he has like this weird bitch slap. <laughs> yeah, it's the equivalent of Scarecrow's pitchfork, and he's the only character besides Dorothy that can shoot stuff. With a knock and a and a fuck and a fuck. Hey man, did you just swear? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, fuck you. Dick, dick, dick. <laughs> now the only problem with the line is that after he dies only once, uh, die, die, he never die, comes die. back. <laughs> Now it's time to discuss the game's most fatal flaw. It's a glitch that defies all your gaming sensibilities. You fall through the platforms. No kidding. If you try to jump from an angle or land anywhere other than dead center, you're going through. Like how in fuck hell do I miss jumping on something this big? I've never seen anything so ridiculous in my life. It makes the game virtually unplayable. A lot of times, I find myself rocking the D-pad back and forth to ensure that I land precisely where I want, and then sometimes, it still doesn't work. You just gotta take your time, plan each jump very carefully. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen, so no, you can't take your time. This is one of the hardest games I've ever played, but for all the wrong reasons. Every time you get game over, you have to enter a password to continue. And like any shitty game, it's long and tedious. And I swear, I had to enter this password about 50 times before I finished this game. Alright, I'm almost to the end of the stage. Almost to the end. What? I died? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you reach the edge of the screen. You gotta be right on the arrow or above it. Have you ever seen a game be that picky? As long as I touch the right side of the screen, that should count. Another thing that pisses the shit out of me is that you can't jump down off ledges. Let's take a good game for example. Yep, referring back to Contra again. If you push down and the jump button at the same time, you jump down. Simple, right? But no, you can't do that in this game. Why is that such a big deal? Well, here's an example. I'm gonna get hurt by this green flame. You see, I just got hit. It's too high to jump over and it's too low to walk under. All I want to do is drop down the floor and walk underneath it. But the only way to do that is to walk all the way to the left, drop down, and now I can pass under. What a piece of shit. The layout of the game is absurd. The platforms are placed at complete random. Sometimes they're out of reach, and other times you can't distinguish between what you're allowed to jump on and what's decoration. So you just gotta jump around at the scenery until you find somewhere you can land. Like right now, I'm completely stumped. I can't go anywhere. Oh, okay, I can't jump on this big bright yellow thing, but this half-hidden hourglass that's partially in the background, I can. Toward the end of the game, you fight the Wicked Witch. Well, I don't have any ammo to shoot at her, and because she's up on the ledge, I can't hit her since there's no jump attacks, which means Dorothy's out. That fucking kick won't get us anywhere. And that seems like the only time when Tin Man can come in handy. But what the hell? Why is it that when I stand close, the axe disappears? It's like you gotta stand in the right spot. Shit! Come on. <laughs> oh, is that the witch? That's the witch? She's a bitch, not a witch. <laughs> come, on, come on, you fucking green bitch! Melt! Yeah, yeah. Melt. melt like diarrhea in the hot sun. <laughs> yeah, melt. Shove a broom right up her ass. Now fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Fuck. We, we can witch the east. We can witch the west. We can witch my ass. <laughs> now shortly after the witch, you go in the Emerald City. Yeah, the Emerald City asshole. Yeah, it's the last stage in the game. Thank fucking God. And to navigate this place is confusing as all hell. The hell's confusing. Yeah, there's times when you're wandering around without any clue where to go. Yeah, what's that green thing? That green... I don't know what the... Oh, that big emerald is a door? Yeah, yeah, what are you, stupid? Oh, yeah, sure, that's easy to figure out. Now, this is the last room in the game. About fucking time. All you gotta do is get the two keys up on the top two corners. Get up there. Now, what the fuck? I mean, how am I supposed to get under this flame? Piss on it. Oh, fuck it. 
So you get the two keys and that's it. No end boss or anything special. That sucks. And the wizard tells you some bullshit that's not important and then sends Dorothy home. <laughs> oh, boom. Yeah, the animation's stunning. I thought it was a ball sack. There's no place like home. Wipe your ass on Toto. <laughs> There's no shitty game like this. I'm serious. Like, it shouldn't have been made. Like, it's almost half as bad as Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And I know it's been like 40-something reviews, and I'm still talking about Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, but I'm serious. It's really almost that bad. Fuck this game. Watch it go. Damn! You just plastered the game on my ceiling with your shit. <laughs> The king of the planet. Hey said, man, did you just swear? Yo, oh yeah, I said, oh, fuck you, fuck you, dick, 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 dick. <laughs> yeah, 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 fuck you, fuck you, dick, dick, dick. <laughs>